Today is the beginning of our salvation, the revelation of the eternal mystery. The Son of God became the Son of the Virgin, as Gabriel announced the coming of grace. Together with him, let's cry to the veil to help us. Hail, the full of grace, the Lord is with you. Glory to God, the highest, and the peace of the Lord with men. Today is the beginning of our salvation, the revelation of the eternal mystery. The Son of God becomes the Son of the Virgin, as Gabriel announced the coming of grace. Together with him, let us cry out to the veil to help us. Hail, the full of grace, the Lord is with you. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thy inheritance, grant victory to the unlock, and victory to the other of the dragons, and by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. The Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covered yourself with light, as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wing of the wind, who makes your angel spirits and your ministers a fiery flame. You set the earth, earth on its foundation, so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep, as with a garment, the water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your they took to faith. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place where you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys. They flowed between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches from your lusty abode. You water the mountains, so air is satisfied and with the fruit of your word. You cause the grow, the grass to grow for the cattle, fodder for the animals that serve men, and he may bring forth that he may bring forth food from the earth, wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon, which he planted in them, the fields, the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees, the high mountains are a refuge for the badgers, you made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting, you make darkness and it is night, when all the beasts of the forest creep forth, the young lions roar for their prey, they eat their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Men go forth to make his work and to his labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your words. In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Look yonder is the sea. Great and wide, which teems with things in moon innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships that provide them, which you form to sport in it. Those all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their spirit, they die and return to their doves. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing praises to my God while I have been. May the meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord.
Lord's grace, O Lord, and we shall be in the name of the humble priest of the day after the choirs, all the clergy that be hold and us pray to the Lord. Oh, if the Lord does mercy, 
Exodus. Let us turn. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush, and he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses, he said, here am I. And he said, draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoe from thy feet, for the place where on thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of the Father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows, and I come and I am come down to, the, to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Pezzarites and the Hizbites and the Jezusites. The reading is from Proverbs. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. I was set up from the everlasting from the beginning wherever the earth was. When there was no depth, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills I was brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree, that the water should not pass his commandments, when he appointed the foundation of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Peace be unto you, as it was. And to thy spirit. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord.
salvation of God. From day to day proclaim the glad tidings of the salvation of our God. Wisdom. Reading of the epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Let's Brethren, both he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified are all one, for which cause he has not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name to my brethren. In the midst of the church will I praise thee, and again I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and my children, whom God has given thee. Therefore, because the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself in like manner has been partaker of the same that through death he might destroy him as the empire of death, that is to say the devil, and might deliver them, who through the fear of death were all of their lifetime subject to servitude. For nowhere does he take hold of the angels, but of the seed of Abraham he takes hold. Wherefore it behooves him in all things to be made like unto his brethren, that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest before God, that he might be population for the sins of the people, for in their word he himself has suffered and been tempted, and he is able to succor them that also that are tempted. Considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. But 
the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. You shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He will reign over his house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary asked the angel, How shall this be? He said, I have no, no man. And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born to be born and be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who is called barren. With God, nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel Gabriel departed from her. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, think about those times in your life when you received surprising news that you weren't expecting. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Think about your reaction. That, to the news and how, how you responded to, to, to the announcement for a second. I'm willing to bet in my sinfulness, I admit, that most of us do not react like the mother of God did when Gabriel came. Did she doubt? Absolutely. How can this be? I know no man. But when Gabriel explained to her, that was not. She didn't go on with, with more questions. Let it be done so according to your will. For I am the handmaid of the Lord. So, this morning on this feast of the Annunciation of the Mother of God, our Lord, in His wonderful love for us, reminds us that He has given us, first of all, a teenage girl who has seen to His will precisely to bring joy to us eternally. The Annunciation is an Annunciation of joy. Even in the midst of Lent, which it always is, right? It's joyful to remember that this Mother of God, our spiritual Mother, is the greatest example for us to find favor with God by emulating her. Whatever news we get in life, 
whatever event or experience we have in life. Mary shows us how to react. That's what Serbian said, not a little God, God knows, right? Mary says, according to what God knows, I'm okay with that. Every time we have experiences in life that challenge us, that throw us for a loop, we need to remember Mary. And then we need to call upon Mary as our intercessor before the throne of the Son to help us to understand what we're going through. Just like she did. She knows exactly those doubts, those trepidations. She went through it. How can this be? I know no man. But she was satisfied with God telling her through the angel, I got you covered. My word is not God's. I'll take care of it for you. It does the same for us. Now, of course, the secular world will have you believe this is all poppycock. Really? You guys truly are putting your faith in a story of a virgin who never knew a man, gave birth to the savior of the world? Sure. We've got a piece of land in New Jersey. You can't argue with atheists. You can't argue with secularism. You don't have to. You don't have to. You just need to find that comfort zone that says, wow, thank God my mother is going to take care of all that I'm going to go through. Because she's right there at the throne of her son. She knows the experiences we're going to have in life. She knows the doubts. She knows the, the feelings of no faith. The feelings of being weak. And she asks us to remember her. Trust in the Lord. His goal for us, of course, is joyful salvation. And it begins today. Because in nine months from today, what happens? God is born. Jesus is born. Yes. Nine months from April 7th is, is January 7th. The nativity of our Lord and Savior in the flesh. That's why the so far says, today, today is the beginning of salvation. Right? Today, the spiritual wheel was put in place for our journey to turn into eternal life. We need to be thankful. Really be thankful and emulate the mother of God and pray to her. God bless you. Let us say with all our soul and mind, let us say.
house, all of our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the Admin, Dorothy, George, Alex, David, Mika, Rada, Violet, Stella, Brother, Helen, James, Nicola, Malabo, Lid, the Archpriest, Brother, and Dennis, Vasco, Vasilian, and Delfo, the servant God, Keith, the handmaid Mildred, the handmaid Elizabeth, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord.
His grace upon the mission in the elbows and the priest and the international orders. May the Lord God remember this kingdom always, now and ever, to ages of ages. The president of our country, also the authorities, our armed forces, and members of our royal family. Our parish, parish council, our supporter of the nations. May the Lord God remember this kingdom. Always, now and ever, to ages of ages. The sick and the suffering, all those who have blessed us, I am more than a meter pray for them. Especially all those in hospitals, and nursing homes, crystal care homes, prisons, institutions, and all of our shut ins. May the Lord God remember this kingdom. Always, now and ever, to ages of ages. All of our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the Orthodox part of life before us, in faith and hope and resurrection, in the departed handmaid of God Margaret, the servant of God Louis, the handmaid of God Eugenia, the handmaid of God Helen, May the Lord God remember this kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. All those throughout the world go and pray for them. May the Lord God remember this kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Oh, 
here to in peace, save the honor of the length of days, ready to define the word of thy truth. Our grandeur with one mouth and one heart we praise our majestic name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. And the mercy of the Lord, great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. Have we heard all the saints in heaven and peace? Let us pray to the Lord.
Dear God, with faith and love, draw near. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. We don't want to say the prayer of thanksgiving to yourself after we see the
I said the wrong one, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'll sing it. Today is the beginning of salvation. Yeah, that. I'm sorry. Today is the beginning of salvation. The revelation of the eternal mystery. The song of the Joy so full of grace, the Lord is. 